So if you own a 14 to 18 53 powered Silverado or Sierra and you're watching this video, then you're probably stuck on which exhaust to go with, right? There are tons of configurations, tons of price points, and lots of different sound profiles. In the case of the Magnaflow MF series, you should be checking this one out if you're looking for that factory exit configuration, but you want a nice polished exhaust tip, and more importantly, you'll want one of the deepest sounding exhausts currently available for the 53 motor. Now, even though the MF series is a deep sounding exhaust, it's not crazy loud. Yes, it does wake up the sound of that motor, but there's actually really not much drone inside the cab. So for that reason, I'm gonna give this a healthy three out of five on my loudness meter. I'm also happy to say at around the $800 price point, this is actually on the more affordable end as far as stainless steel exhaust systems go. A lot of systems that cost less than this one will often be made out of aluminized steel, which is an entry level steel, and aluminized steel is likely to rust and corrode a lot sooner. Whereas factory grade 409 stainless will definitely stand up to the test of time. That's certainly a nice bonus if you live on the East Coast or West Coast, you see a lot of rain and snow, or you take your truck off road, you don't gotta worry about this system developing any pinhole leaks. I'm also happy to say that this system is not a cut and clamp job. It is actually pre-measured for your cabin bed length so you get away with using some basic hand tools for the install. I am going to give the install a modest two out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter. Shouldn't take you more than two to three hours in the driveway and that's if you're taking your time. So again, if you want one of the most affordable stainless steel exhaust systems and you want that nice deep lopy idle and you really want that 5.3 motor to wake up, go ahead and stick around. I'll show you guys exactly what tools you need and I'll walk you through the install step by step. To install your cap back, you'll need a standard drive ratchet as well as 13 and 15 millimeter sockets. Optional but helpful tools include an exhaust hanger puller tool, spray lubricant, and an impact gun. All right, so obviously before we install our new system, we're gonna remove our old one. Now there are two generally accepted ways of doing this. One way you can cut the system out piece by piece, we want to retain our factory system as one piece, so we're going to remove it as one piece. And in order to do that, you have to disconnect the factory mid pipe from the wide pipe. You're going to need a 13 millimeter socket to loosen this clamp. All right, so once you got that clamp loosened, technically your factory exhaust is no longer connected to the vehicle. The next part is actually removing it from its rubber isolators. There are four in total, one in front of the muffler, two directly behind it, and one at the tailpipe. We're gonna tackle three of those four, and then I'll show you how to drop that last one so you can pull the entire factory cap back out from underneath the truck as one piece. All right, so once you got three of those four rubber isolators removed, you wanna tackle the last one very carefully because this is the last thing that's actually holding the cap back to the truck physically. So again, spray it down with some lubricant, make it easy on yourself, get a hold of that hanger, gently pull it out from the rubber isolator, and what you wanna do is let the tailpipe rest on the axle. Then you can push the entire system back towards the rear of the truck. You wanna clear the cross member with the flex fitting up there, let that drop down, then you can push the entire system out from underneath the truck. It is a little bit heavy, so take your time with this. It's also helpful to have a friend with you. All right, so we have our factory system removed and we have the new Magnaflow system next to it. That way you guys can see some of the cool similarities and differences that I mentioned earlier. And again, we are working with that factory grade 409 stainless. So you might get some light surface corrosion like the factory system has on it currently, but you won't have to worry about this thing rusting out or developing pinhole leaks for that matter. And another cool thing to keep in mind, we're reusing our factory hanger locations, so you don't gotta install any new hardware. And something I like about the Magnaflow system, obviously the factory setup does not have an exhaust tip on there. Magnaflow gave us this really nice polished one, which is welded, so don't gotta worry about installing that thing at the end there, and it will continue to clean up nice for years to come. Last cool thing to point out, I did mention earlier, this is not a cut and clamp system. It is pre-measured for your cab and bed length. And you can see here, they do throw in a new extension pipe. So if you're working with a different configuration than what we're working with today, you still do not have to cut anything. So that's a nice little bonus there. But at any rate, let's go ahead and get our new system installed. 
All right, so obviously the first step of our install is getting our new mid pipe in place. We are gonna be reusing that same clamp that we loosened earlier here. So we're gonna need that 13 millimeter socket to tighten that down. You wanna tighten it enough that this stays in place, but you wanna have it a little bit loose so you have a little bit of play in the pipe. It's gonna make it easier to get the muffler and the tailpipe in place. At any rate, you're also gonna want your spray lubricant. Spray down that first rubber isolator so you can get that first hanger in there. All right, now we're gonna throw our muffler in place. Before you do that, make sure you got a clamp on the end of the mid pipe there that we can tighten all this stuff down later. You can also ignore this hanger right here. This is for a different truck configuration, so it's not gonna be used in this install. Once you get the muffler in place on the mid pipe, go ahead and spray down those rubber isolators for the factory muffler, and then throw your new hangers in place on the far end. All right, so the last step is throwing your tailpipe in place and tightening all those clamps down. Again, make sure you got that last clamp in the kit on the end of the muffler, and you're gonna need that 15 millimeter socket to tighten down all the clamps in the kit. Once you're happy with where everything's sitting, you can work your way back to the Y pipe and tighten down that factory clamp we removed in the beginning. And for that one, again, you're gonna need that 13 millimeter socket. So once you got those last clamps tightened down, that'll wrap up this very easy install. And that also wraps up my review of the MagnaFlow MF Series single exhaust system in the factory exit configuration, fitting your 14 to 18 53 powered Silverado or Sierra. I'm Travis, thanks for watching. Keep it right here at americantrucks.com.